Introducing the Oldcastle Precast Video Installation Guide for the Dual Vortex Separator. The DVS model is a hydrodynamic separator that provides enhanced gravity separation of stormwater pollutants in a compact configuration. Before you begin, refer to the DVS Internal Assembly Installation Guide that was included with the internal DVS components to be sure you have all of the components, parts, and tools you'll need to successfully complete the installation. Step 1. Make sure the concrete component is clearly marked with inlet and outlet. Note, for units with the inlet and outlet going straight through at 0 and 180 degrees, the internals will be centered on the outlet. Next, mark the correct height from the center of the outlet to install the support ring for the partition plate. Measure and mark where the ring goes and drill the holes into the concrete at your marks. Secure the support ring to the wall using wedge anchors, one piece at a time. Next, to install the partition plate assembly, step through one of the holes on one side of the plate. Make sure the center joint on the plate is lined up with the mark you made in step one. Next, set the outlet baffle assembly in place on the outlet opening side. It should be perpendicular to the center joint of the partition plate. Attach the outlet baffle assembly to the partition plate assembly at the bottom. Once bolted to the partition plate, mark and drill the holes for the wedge anchors. Insert the wedge anchors into the holes, hammer in, and tighten. Next, position the upper support ring centered on the center seam of the partition plate assembly, not the inlet hole opening. Using a marking pen, draw a line on the concrete along the bottom edge of the upper support ring. You should highlight the dimension off the partition plate. Position Z-clips so that the lip of the clip lines up with the marked line. Mark and drill the top hole of the clip. Hammer in the wedge anchors. Turn the clip so the receiving side is up and screw them in. Next, install the upper support ring over the clips. Measure to make sure it's still in alignment. Measure from the end of each side of the upper support ring to the outlet baffle assembly to make sure they are equal in distance on each side. Clean up the dust and loose concrete pieces off the partition floor and out of all the gaps. Next, Attach the through pipe assembly to the inlet gallery and outlet baffle. Note, if the gasket ring is too tight, spray soapy water around the bottom edge of the vortex tube to get it to slide in easier. Note, the V-shaped weir should be pointing away from the outlet. Put all the bolts in the holes for the through pipe assembly, but don't tighten them yet. Start tightening the two bolts at the bottom of each side first, inlet and outlet side, and work your way up to the top alternating on each side as you go. The top two bolts on each side should be the last bolts you tighten. Apply Sikaflex to the seams to create a watertight seal. Do only a couple of seams at a time, then smooth it out, pushing it into the gaps before moving on to the next seam. It's important to get every seam sealed where the pieces meet to ensure you get a watertight seal. It takes about two to three tubes of Sikaflex to seal a 60-inch DVS unit. Finally, on the outside of the DVS unit, affix a company label with the company logo, the unit number, the weight including internals, and a copy of the job detail. Your DVS is now ready for installation on site. For more information on this product or other stormwater solutions, contact your Old Castle representative today. Thanks for watching.